Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed benchmarking test on Infinix 04 Plus smartphone. It comes with Helio X20 Decacore processor, 4GB of RAM, 64GB internal storage, Mali T880 GPU and Android 6 Marshmallow OS. So the benchmarking application we got today here. They are Android benchmarking, Basemark X, Basemark OS 2, Geekbench 4, and Quadrant Standard. So we have already performed all these benchmarking tests and we will have a look on these scores directly to save you time. So let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute in all of these benchmarking tests. So here we go. So let's start with the entry benchmarking. It's the most popular benchmarking application. And here is the score. That's 85,832. And considering the hardware specs of this device that uh, Helio X20 processor and Mali T880 GPU, this is a pretty good score. And if you go to the ranking tab, you can compare the result of this device with the rest of the smartphone so you can see that the the most high-end smartphones like oneplus 5 it is scored 181,194 and if you scroll down you can have a look on our device it's at the last position uh, on 51st position with 85,832 just above it is Huawei Honor 8 with 94,562 so you can get the idea of the performance of the device by this benchmarking score if you have used any of the device you can see that P9 Plus that was launched last year it is scored 97,649 so just a brief idea about the performance of Infinix 04 Plus now let's have a look on Basemark OS 2 So the score is 1790 and you can see that for system it's 3632, memory 1858. For graphics the score is pretty good as well, web browsing it's uh, normal. If you see here you can see that for system and GPU the performance is quite good but the chart for system is a bit low and also for the web browsing and that's why the overall score is a bit low less than 2000. Uh, it's 1800 we can say and the, the latest smartphone they are achieving between 2800 to 3200 because of the better and latest hardware specs but in this hardware specs in this price range this device is performing pretty good here as well and you can compare the result by watching our previous videos you can get better idea that how good Infinix 04 plus will perform if you compare the benchmarking result with the rest of the smartphones and here we go with Basemark X it's a gaming benchmarking test and here we're having the score it's 23,713 and once again it's a pretty good score considering the GPU that's Mali T880 the latest Mali GPU is G71 and it scores around 40 to 45,000 considering the GPU here in Infinix 04 plus it's once again pretty good score and we will also have a detailed gaming review to see that how good this device is going to perform in real life scenario not only in the benchmarking test score but right now just the benchmarking test score now let's have a look on Geekbench 4 this test is divided in two parts and we have already performed both of these tests so here we are having the score for single core it's 1549 and for multi core it's 5022 and this is a really very nice score for both single core and multi core because even the latest high end smartphones they are uh, achieving around 1900 in single core and 6500 for multi core so considering the price range and the hardware used uh, in this device this score is really nice and if you go to the single core tab you can compare the result of Infinix 04 plus with rest of the smartphones so you can see that our device scored 1549 and Galaxy S7 scored 1806 so you can see that the difference is not so much 
even Note 7 scored 1786. If you scroll down, you can see that Xiaomi Mi 5 scored 1617, and there is one more Galaxy S7 with Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor that achieved 1550. So you can get the idea about the performance of the device. It's scoring equivalent to Snapdragon 820 and if you go to the multi-core score once again you can compare the result you can see that Galaxy Note 7 with Exynos 8890 it has scored 5228 and our device has scored 5022 so once again the difference is of only 200 score points and you can compare once again the result here with other smartphones you can see that OnePlus 3 has scored 4015 only and Galaxy S7 Edge scored 5213 once again very much similar to Note 7 because both of these devices they are having the exact same processor so in multi-core and single core on Geekbench 4 the performance of Infinix 04 Plus is really nice and let's go back from here and let's have a look on the third test that's compute and here is the score that's 3483 it's a uh, just an average score not so great because the latest devices they are scoring as high as 8000 and if you go to this tab you can compare the result that HTC Nexus 9 scored 3689 and our device scored 3483 and you can have a look on rest of the devices here as well so this is once again uh, an average score not so great and not bad here as well so let's go back from here and let's have a look on the last test for today that's quadrant standard and here we are having this score that's 6548 and this is a poor score because if you watch our previous videos of other smartphones and if you have a look on this quadrant standard benchmarking score of all those devices you will find that this is one of the lowest score we have seen uh, I'm not sure about the reason but uh, 6548 is really scored because the latest devices they are scoring as high as 45,000 so I was expecting that it will be around 25 to 30,000 on 04 plus but it's just 7,000 so I'm not sure what is the issue but this is the score we got here but in other benchmarking tests especially in Android benchmarking and Basemark X also in Basemark OS 2 the performance of Infinix 04 plus was quite good and in Geekbench 4 it was really nice considering the Helio X20 processor Mali T880 GPU. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this. I'll see you guys next time in an another video, have a nice day.